I'm in Edinburgh, Scotland on photography tour and I want to share some tips and tricks for getting better pictures in an awesome city like this. Cities are crazy and chaotic, so I've got one key word for you. Two key words for you. Be deliberate. So as you're walking down the street, something's going to catch your eye. Could be a church steeple on the horizon, could be a cool doorway, a repeating row of townhomes, whatever it is. Once you've decided that, hey, that's interesting, I want to take a picture of it, you need to be deliberate in your framing, in determining what elements you're using in the frame to lead your viewer's eye to the subject, and you want to make sure they're not letting anything distracting, brighter objects, funny shapes, creep into the frame that are going to detract or distract your viewer. Let's talk about time of day. Two things you got going on in cities, light and people. The more people there are, <laughs> the more people there are, the more, I could have paid her to do that, the more random stuff you got in your way. Now sometimes it's really nice to illustrate just how busy and crowded places are, but in the historic parts of the city, it's nice to photograph them when they're quieter. And so few of the tourists get up early, so you should get up early and get out to photograph those areas. Now another thing to think about time of day, and this applies for photography always, the light. The light in the mornings is so nice and soft. And when you're shooting in alleys or narrow streets or even wider streets, having that soft light is so much better than having one side lit harshly by bright noon sun and the other side in deep shade. That's challenging. Let's talk lenses for a moment. If you're down in the city, I think a normal focal length is great. 24 to 70, 18 to 55. Those are fantastic focal lengths for general walk around in the city. No, you can't capture all of a building usually with those focal lengths. You need to go wider. But I find it really lazy when people throw a wide angle on and just try to capture the entire front of a building. You end up with a lot of curvy lines that should not be curvy. When you can use a wide angle is in those narrow, twisty alleys and archways that really kind of accentuates and opens up those small spaces. So wide angles great in small spaces, normal focal length for general walk around. You might not be able to capture all of a building but focus on the parts that are interesting. And if you can get to a higher, <laughs> and if you can get to a higher viewpoint looking out over a city, telephotos are fantastic for compressing the foreground and background and bringing all of that interesting repetition right up to your viewer. Let me share with you some of the things that I'm keeping an eye out for as I'm photographing in an old city. Reflections. There are fantastic shots just waiting to be all framed up of cool church spires, old architecture framed in a glass window, the rear view mirror of a scooter, a puddle, new construction. There's a lot of new buildings that offer a lot of glass mirror-like surfaces. It's kind of a cool, neat juxtaposition of the old and the new. So keep an eye out for those. They're a lot of fun. And at night too, you can get some wet roads, wet cobblestones. The reflections are really pretty cool. One of the other things that I'm looking for in a city, repetition. Wrought iron fences, rooftops if you're at a higher elevation, especially if you're using a longer telephoto lens. As I said, it compresses that foreground and background and really emphasizes the repetition. Be deliberate in your framing, making sure you're not chopping off the beginnings or ends. And you also want to make sure that you're filling the frame if you really want to give a sense of strong repeating items. Filling the frame, kind of leads the viewer to believe that it just keeps going on forever and ever. And that creates a stronger composition. Another thing I'm looking for when I'm photographing cities are the little details that make a city unique or that are unique to that city, that place. Anything from flowers on doorsteps to doors themselves to doorknobs to little designs and wrought iron railing to the brickwork under your feet. All of that can be captured in oftentimes put together as a series of images that kind of tell through little pictures or little details a bigger story. And the last tip I want to share with you is to make sure you photograph the people. The people are what make a city. 
So I really recommend, and I talked a lot about this in my Cuba photography tips, you know, approaching people nicely, asking if you can take a picture, you get usually very nice results. That's it. I'd love to know your favorite cities to photograph around the world and some tips for photographing in those cities that you'd like to share with people watching this video. If you found this video helpful, you can give it a quick thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to be notified of future videos. And if you'd like to travel with me to one of these amazing locations, part of this was filmed in Edinburgh, part of it was filmed in London, there's links for how to travel with me right down below. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.